Excuse me, Miss Swan, can you tell me a little bit about how I can use Wikipedia when I'm doing research? That's a good question, and it's one librarians think about a lot. It is a hugely popular website, consistently ranked in the top 10 of the most visited websites around the world. It is more popular than Twitter, CNN, and Bing, just to name a few. Wikipedia has almost 4 million articles on its English language website and has entries about all sorts of topics, from the Gettysburg Address to electron mobility and the cast of the Amazing Spider-Man movie. It's likely that Wikipedia has information about your research topic, and it's even more likely that it will come up in the top five results when you use a search engine to research your topic. But the problem with Wikipedia is that anybody can publish to it. That's right, and anyone can go in and change what another person has published. Sometimes they don't even have to be a registered user to do that. Even squirrels? I guess so, if they have internet access. Anyway, there is a lot of discussion among educators and librarians about whether or not Wikipedia is a reliable reference source. The fact of the matter is, sometimes it is, sometimes it is not. A professional study a few years ago concluded that Wikipedia was more or less on par with Encyclopedia Britannica. But that does not necessarily mean that Wikipedia articles are all accurate, current, and well-researched. So Wikipedia is in this gray area of internet accuracy. Many of its entries are correct, authoritative, and sufficiently referenced. But anyone can go in and change it. Check out the footnotes and references in each entry. This is where the people who contribute to Wikipedia cite the sources they used in the articles. Footnotes are located in the body of the text and are little numbered links that usually show up at the end of a sentence. Depending on the article, you might also find some credible sources in the reference list that might be good for your paper. The cool thing is that Wikipedia also tells you if they feel there aren't enough citations or credits given in an article. There will be a box placed at the top of an entry, saying that the article needs additional citations for verification. This should be a red flag. If Wikipedia itself is saying, this is untrustworthy, you should probably skip it and find a better resource. Even if Wikipedia doesn't have that sign there, you should still double check the article to make sure it's been well researched. If you take a look along the top of the Wikipedia entry, you should see three tabs, read, edit, and view history. The view history tab is an interesting peek into the inner workings of Wikipedia. You can check out, down to the minute, what was changed, when it was changed, and who made the changes. If you're unsure if the references check out okay in the article, take a look through the history tab. Try to see who edited the article and what changes they made. If you see a whole bunch of revisions on the same day, or even within a matter of hours or minutes, that shows that there was a Wikipedia battle of sorts, where someone was likely adding wrong information and Wikipedians changed it back to being correct. And then it was edited incorrectly again, and so on. When articles are frequently vandalized, Wikipedia staff locks the article and allow only the top contributing editors to make changes. So what does all this mean? It sounds like Wikipedia has a lot of really great information on all kinds of different topics, but can I use it? You know, Bubo, as you can see, there's no short answer for that. Ask your teacher if he or she has a policy about using Wikipedia in your paper. But here's a good rule of thumb. Wikipedia is a good place to start, but a terrible place to finish. But I don't have any thumb. Basically, that means that you can use Wikipedia when you are looking for background information or selecting keywords for your research, or you can use the reference list to find other resources, but you probably shouldn't cite it in your paper. There are so many credible resources available to you at your library that you should have no problem finding resources for your paper. Thanks, Ms. Swan. That's really helpful.